Hello once again, this is James and welcome to my Microsoft PowerPoint presentation videos. Uh, today we are going to look at formatting the slide design in presentation software in this particular case, PowerPoint. Uh, yesterday we looked at a presentation which was quite plain or blank or not very attractive. This was our presentation and uh, it didn't look so good. But today we want to look at how we can modify or give designs to our presentation such like that it looks quite attractive just like when you look at this presentation it's quite colorful and it has a list of uh, stuff which you can which makes it look very interesting and attractive so how do we do this as saying the slide design can be changed in two ways we have the inbuilt design of powerpoint where one can pick from a list of available designs or the user can define their designs. They can design from scratch their own style of work and they can also use the existing designs and modify them to suit their preferences. So how do we do it? How do we do this? We are going to start by using the inbuilt design of the system. So Supposing this is our work, to change this, we have to go to the design tab up here. So I'll click design and you notice that these are some of the uh, already designed templates which you can pick from. If I pick this for example, you notice how my work has been styled up in that particular kind of uh, design. If I went back and picked something else, you notice and there are quite a number of them there. So you can have now these are the ones which are tailored or which come with the program for you to choose from in case you don't have time to try and design your own okay so all of these are quite available for you to work with this is looks kind of cute for work which is kind of design work anyways uh, so those are now the inbuilt functions or the inbuilt design functions in the system from which a user can pick what they prefer to use as their design. Now in these designs you can also employ colors or color schemes whereby you see that if I choose this color scheme it will change this to a different color. So now I'm trying to modify the existing design but putting it into a different color scheme. So, depending on what you are working with, you notice that it's changing. There are quite a number of them from which you can pick. So all of those are available for the user. They are inbuilt systems which you can work with. Um, so that is how we pick from the inbuilt themes or templates which are built in the system. Uh, previously this is what we had. We didn't have anything in our work. So you could also come and try to design your own. You can come here, we assume this is now empty, we don't have anything there, so we'll go back to our design and you can go to background styles. Then there are these default ones, not looking very nice, but that is also there, if you are doing quick works. Then you can also format the background, here you can customize now the 
where you work with your uh, presentation in case you want something in particular this box will come whereby you can uh, choose a solid fill or a gradient fill uh, so here it will choose the colors so you could come and change the colors maybe I wanted this green uh, it is picking this one was picked from the preset colors that's why you see that kind of you see that uh, if I could push this aside you notice how the background has changed uh, so these are preset what formats which you can work with also if you want a gradient kind of thing which you can impose with another color you notice that it will keep the other on this side and it will add in that other color I've added uh, let's say putting a purple notice the purple you can toggle this to uh, distribute the spread of the gradient as you will notice I can also try to increase the other one then mitigate the middle ground so basically that is how you can do it with a gradient view so if I apply it to all and I say it close then I go back to my presentation uh, so when I try to check even the other slides have been lifted to some extent looking like what I've just chosen uh, that is how we did it in the background format background you could also decide to use a picture or texture field by texture they are inbuilt textures here maybe I want this these water droplets and I've only applied it to the current the side where I was currently is what took that when you look at the other slide it didn't take uh, the change so what happens uh, is you could go back and say format background uh, radiant or text fixture field so you are supposed to say apply to all this option here if you want it to be applied to all the slides otherwise if you just say okay and you don't say apply to all notice that now it has distributed uh, it has been distributed to all the slides so that is what we call a picture or texture fill uh, if it was a picture now that was texture if it's a picture uh, we would have to come here and pick the picture For example we might want our monitor to be the background then we say insert and we apply to all Okay. Then we apply it all, and we close this. So I told you to tile the picture. That's why you are seeing quite very many of them. That effect is called tiling. If I went back, then from my background, uh, if I say I remove the tile, tile means replicate the picture, and I say apply it and close then they will only have one picture which is being distributed to all the slides uh, you could decide to even do a little bit of formatting on that picture you can come to picture corrections if you want to correct it you can give it that correction uh, you could use try to change the color maybe you want it in a grayscale 
you could even have artistic effects on it uh, maybe let's give it this uh, phased out kind of thing and apply it to all and you close and notice your monitor is melting away if you could call it a melting effect among other effects so that is how you could work with your presentation and modify it to your own preference uh, if you don't use the inbuilt uh, designs which are in the system okay you could also say hide background graphics and they will disappear in case you had uh, graphics or pictures which are part of the slide background so basically that is how we uh, we do our slide design the user best and the custom I mean the inbuilt based principles inbuilt you simply pick from the list of the designs available here and you pick that we saw that you could also modify this by changing the color schemes to whichever we want and it will work out for us then the one where the user is supposed to decide for their own what they want then you come to the background styles and you try to edit that and maybe what we didn't look at is the pattern background so this one will give it a pattern as the background so if I chose that and I said apply to all and I close now I've combined both the inbuilt and my own using the texture uh, pattern so that's how you work with a pattern or any other picture uh, texture a solid color as we saw and the inbuilt templates in your presentation software so thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe see you in the next video